Namaste. Kaise ho? Bariya, acha ho. This video is going to be all about a one day hike to one of the pristine lakes of Himachal near Manali. I am going to record this hike on the Android app called Strava. So I'm doing this trek with Ian and we started this hike early morning from one of the hamlets in Vashisht named as Matiana. And after a 15 minute walk, we reached the famous Vashis temple premises from where the trek actually starts. Hi bro, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Boy, boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So guys, this is a snail. Ah, it's very slimy. And you'll find these all across the trail. This is my favorite spot on the initial trail of Brigu. You have this tree. And you can just live inside. Hi, tree man. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. So we have reached our first break point. Let's talk about the things that I'm carrying with me. That's my cell phone. There are bananas. There is one dry bag which has a power bank and a cable. And that's all. And I'm not carrying water bottle because there are enough sources on the way to drink water. <sighs> it's two hours into the hike and you will reach this very first plateau which will be filled with flowers in the month of August and September. It, it, it feels as if you are in the valley of flowers. And these plants at few places will be almost six feet tall. Selfie! <laughs> so we are super lucky to have a clear weather today. Some joy and brilliant. Otherwise, I don't think we would have been able to see what we are able to see. So guys, that's the plateau, which also acts as a campsite for the Brigo Lake Trek. It is called Panduropa. From there, the meadows will start. Ah. <laughs> Uh, drinking water tutorial 101 <laughs> So Ian just found a souvenir for himself Oh, you can even see the teeth <laughs> <laughs> So guys, I feel the meadows at Brigu Lake are one of the finest and especially for beginners they are safe, huge, nice and easy slopes So we are in a white out So we'll try to just stay close and wait for the weather to clear Bro, please tell the Hindi words you know once again <laughs> Namaste. Kaise ho? Bariya, acha ho. Nice. Just having the lunch at 14,000 feet. Such a cool life. Come on, let's fight. You're strong. Come on. Come on, you're stronger than this. Come on. Yay! Nikolek. <laughs> So guys, it took us exactly 7 hours <laughs> to do this 13.6 km hike but it was really really fun. We arrived in a very right moment. Now the clouds are coming in and we won't see anything anymore. So what do generally people think of India? I think more cultural noises, <laughs> people, but here's nothing of that. It's clean, peaceful, no people, we are the only ones. So India can also be about adventure, sports and outdoors? For sure. There's a huge playground called the Himalayas. So once you enter there, like I think there's no end in adventure. One lifetime is too short to climb every peak here. So guys, we took a break of almost 35 minutes. Now we are heading back from Brigu Lake. And uh, we came from the Vashish route. While going, we'll take the uh, descent through Gulaba. So there's still a little bit of snow left around the lake bye bye brigu this is the problem with monsoon treks when you plan to descend the uprising wind will bring all the clouds and then you don't see the way it becomes really tough so if you are doing these treks make sure you know the route in and out or at least you have a basic idea of how to use the maps so that at least your direction stays correct that's where we need to go <laughs> so guys the route on maps.me from Brigu Lake that exits to Gulaba is not at all definite okay so please don't trust that be with someone who already knows the route I think we can it's pretty hard 
So after crossing the very first snow bridge, we continued our hike and within the next one hour, we encountered another snow bridge on the trail. I don't think these snow bridges are strong enough, so we'll go down, we will we'll cross the river from a safe zone. <laughs> We're still on the trail. And this is the condition of the trail. So you cannot run, you cannot save time. <gasps> Guys from the snow bridge, uh, after hiking for another hour, we finally reached the river crossing. So we spent some time figuring out the point from where we could cross the river without opening our shoes and still keeping our feet dry. The very famous campsite is called Rauli Kholi. Uh, we did not rest at the campsite and continued our hike towards Gulaba. Hello. Hey. Hi. How are you? Fine. Fine. Uh, you yeah. had a YouTube video with someone with a long beard in there. <laughs> <laughs> Izar was with me. Izar is the guy with long hair. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank, you. <laughs> thank you so much. What's your good name, bro? Saurabh. Saurabh, Saurabh. Sparsh. Sparsh. Hi, bro. Himanshu. Himanshu. Thank you so much. <laughs> food and all you have? Yeah, we Sorted. are having some kind of food. You do it. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, take care. Thank you. So, guys, this is how the descent to Gulaba looks like. Now we are very close to the road head. A uh, beautiful hike will now come to an end. So we'll have to hitchhike from Gulaba to Vashisht, the place where I stay. So before the sun sets down, I just wanted to say that if you're liking what you're watching, do like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel and it'll be coming up with more amazing video from the outdoors. Till then, just stay awesome. And I'll see you in another one. Guys, we have been hiking since 13 hours. We covered a distance of almost 27.4 kilometers.